<clears throat> Hello everybody, Hockey Guy here, back for OutstandingPoker.com um, with part two of uh, just playing ABC Poker at uh, a ten dollar no limit to get, get the the bankroll growing and and get the ball moving in the right direction here. And just uh, real quick, just wanted to review uh, three things that we'll be looking for in, in this portion of the video: is, is card value, position, and being the aggressor. Um, because if you can do those three things, then, then you're going to have a skill advantage over your opponent, since most opponents don't do these things at the micro levels. Um, and that's pretty much true, um, at, at least up through the $50 no limit level, that the majority of your opponents are not doing these three things correctly. So if you can, you, you should be able to, uh, to uh, be able to beat these games pretty easily. Um, and again, I would just uh, refer everybody to Tim's first videos that our first 10 videos there, because um, that's really where um, watching those I learned from him and his explanations of why these things are so important. And mostly, I just want to focus on this video and in actually doing them. And because uh, uh, I don't, I don't think that that really anybody can improve on his explanations. And so I'm not certainly going to try. So with that, we'll just uh, quickly jump off to the tables. Hello everybody, Hockey Guy here, back for OutstandingPoker.com, and uh, part two here, I think, in the uh, ABC uh, Poker uh, $10 No Limit uh, video series, and uh, I've just sat down here at a couple tables, and <clears throat> this is my second hand on the left table, I, I went ahead and started the recording, because it's always nice to start with aces, and I did, in fact, raise the first hand I was at the table as well, so we've got a pretty good situation here, where... Um, Hopefully they're not really sure what to make of me since I've raised my first two hands out of a position. So I've um, <clears throat> got several limper callers here, which of course is a, a staple of the opponents at this level. And now we're just gonna we're just gonna get it in here. Um, if he outdrew me, then uh, so be it. But uh, and there you go. Pair the board. Nope. All right, well, that was the ignominious uh, beginning. <clears throat> but that thing's going to happen, <clears throat> or that kind of thing is going to happen, and uh, we'll just uh, move on there. Um, not surprised. Oh, I guess I got to, I guess I got to reload here after that uh, little adventure. Um, and it, it can be frustrating, but again, you just got to recognize in the long run you're just going to crush that guy because if he hits his king or his eight he's never going to fold really um, and you're going to win in the long run he's he's uh, I believe it's uh, what is it about one in it's over one in 50 I think it's one in 70 or so something like that one in 55 something like that that he's going to flop two pair um, and so or and it's uh, one in one in sixty-five to flop two pair, and about one in seventy-something to flop trips there. Um, so when he does, obviously it's going <clears> to, <throat> especially trips, puts you in a bad way. But two pair, you still have a lot of outs. Um, we'll take a look at that real quick here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess we lost that hand there. But um, what was it? King eight ten. So you've got. Um, two aces and three tens on the <clears throat> on the turn so you got five outs and then whatever turn card as long as it doesn't fill him up um, we'll get the other table going here too as long as the turn card doesn't fill him up with a king or an eight then you still have uh, <clears throat> outs on the river, you'd have the five outs plus three more for whatever card came on the turn. So you're not in great shape, but you're not 